how do you market a brand that's not in the fashion niche, it's not in the food niche, it's not in the entertainment niche? How do you market a product or a service that involves serious topics, is heavily stigmatized, and people often feel shame or embarrassment when talking about it? Nowadays, the brands that we usually see go viral are in the niche of e-com, such as in fashion, or in the F&B business, such as cafes, restos, and that's because they are indeed relatively easier to market. People can easily connect to you if you found the right marketing strategies if you are on those niches that I have mentioned. And there are so many trends available for brands in this niche that they can duplicate or replicate. Having that in mind, how do you market a brand that's relatively complex for people to understand among all of this noise online? Every day, there are millions of people posting on social media. So how can you even make your brand stand out if that's even possible or is it even possible? If you're in the business of apps, tech, finance, medical, real estate, or your target is very niched or something related, then keep on watching. If not, then maybe you can still find something of value here. In this video, I'll expose you the strategies and our thinking process on how we were able to market this startup brand. It is an app for kids with autism. You can even search them up. Their name is Milo Speech Buddy, and we started from zero to over millions of reach. And recently, we actually broke our old record, and it's just been three weeks since they renewed with us. By the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lucy. I am a creative marketer and strategist and I own the marketing agency called All Over Socials. I would highly appreciate it if you can subscribe to this channel so I can keep on making videos such as this. Every week, I post videos on my socials such as on TikTok, YouTube, and on Facebook and Instagram sharing you some tips and tricks. Now, let's get started. This is Vince. He's the CEO and founder of Milo Speech Buddy. And year 2022, he already contacted All Over Socials, our marketing agency, for marketing help. And just like any other business owner, he was excited experiencing challenges in terms of spreading the word about his business. And let me share with you their beautiful story. Isla Speech Buddy is an app for kids with autism. And in a country where the topics around the ASD and mental health is heavily stigmatized, how do you even spread the word about it? How do you market it? If you've been in the marketing industry for so long, you would know how difficult it is to market brands that are heavily niche, especially if it involves serious topics or topics that are relatively complex for people to understand. This can come really challenging because your content pillars can become quite limited, even the strategies that you're gonna propose and implement. And by experience, it's relatively easier to make trendy or entertaining videos get viral. So this is Milo Speech Buddy, and again, they started with zero followers on TikTok. They had less than 300 followers on Facebook when they were starting with us and barely made any engagement on Facebook and Instagram. What you see on the screen are the actual insights and reports that we've done for them. And it was so hard for them to get the message across. And fast forward to present, they now have videos amounting to thousands to a total of millions reach. We actually have one video that reached 2 million people, which generated multiple downloads and support from the community. They also now have series of media exposures such as on Feel Star, APS, ANC, you can even check them out. So, how did we do it? How are we able to market Milo Speech Buddy? If there's a stigma or meets or resistance to a certain topic or brand, you've got to know why that is. Number one, is it the lack of awareness? And number two, if you are indeed trying to increase awareness and are educating people, are you sending the message across in a way that people will understand it? From my years of experience in marketing, if there's one best way I can name to send a complicated message across, that will be through stories. Our team in All Over Socials did a market research about this. We researched based on one, lens of the parents. Number two, parents who have kids with ASD. Number three, people who are unaware. And number four, people who are aware but have the wrong knowledge or impressions about it. But why? When the target market of this app are parents who have kids with autism. Why do you need to make the message fitting to all of these lenses? For topics such as this, your marketing strategy and messaging plays a critical role. Because you're not just trying to market a simple clothing line, a cosmetic product, or what, but you're marketing towards an audience that's, again, is heavily stigmatized and aren't paid much attention to, where people usually stir away from because they feel shame and embarrassment when talking about certain topics such as 
this. So as a marketer, you both want to market the app and at the same time raise awareness around the target market and normalize finding solutions for this. For the sake of giving you a better understanding, I will give you a different example. So rhinoplasty was a taboo thing too before to Filipinos, right? Nobody wants to talk about having theirs done or nobody wants to talk about expressing interest about having theirs done. And the stigma among Filipinos at the time is that if you had yours done, then probably you were too ugly before but now with the change of messaging with a change of discourse of how it's being marketed online it's no longer considered such a taboo thing as before many filipinos are now actually proud to share their journey online you can see a lot of it on tiktok and i want you to observe the usual comments when it comes to rhinoplasty unlike before we're in it's just series of negative comments telling the other person that they might have been ugly or what you will see a lot of people saying that oh she was already beautiful or he was already you know handsome before he just enhanced his features now this is why the people around your target market matter so much especially if you're marketing something that's kind of considered taboo or sensitive to talk about because if nobody wants to talk about it or people around the target market is having some sort of resistance about that topic, then how can you expect people to want to support and avail your product or service? Now, I hope that example kind of gave you like a clearer picture as to what we're talking about. Now, let's go back to Milo. This is the actual social media battle plan deck that we presented to them on the first week of working with them. I won't show you everything, but I'll share you some few bits. In our marketing plan, we said that holistically, our goal is to establish a culture of sharing stories, as you can see here. In a marketing strategy, it's very important to have a vision for your community because that's how you'll be able to build loyal followers who would willingly advocate for your brand. Now, how were we able to get the ball rolling that people would actually want to share their stories the answer be human and start with you humanize your brand humanize your contents because that's how you'll be able to build a safe and comfortable space for people to share their own stories and look for people who are already advocates people won't just you know voluntarily share their own stories if they see that nobody else is doing it so you need to set initiative in doing so so in our deck we included the dodo facebook page as one of the inspiration when it comes to storytelling its niche is completely different but the way of their storytelling was something we found applicable to the brand. Did the marketing strategy work? Now I want to be transparent with you for the first three months of Milo despite having that sense of success. They didn't renew with us for some time and when we onboarded them again for another contract we took a look at their insights and I'll show to you how it looks like. So I'm gonna roll you on the insights for our first three month contract and the following for that when they didn't renew and when they renewed again with us. This is somehow to educate you on why strategies really work and how it can definitely impact your brand. Now for the first three month contract that we've had with them we were able to roll over 301 creatives for them. That can seem a lot, but that's in combination of the Facebook posts that we did for them, for Instagram, for, for TikTok, and for the stories that we rolled out for them. Now, before working with us, they were already rolling some ads for them. We have already an 11k reach for them. Now, after a month of working with us, they were already able to reach over 500,000 people. And that's just on Facebook alone. Now, as per TikTok, they started with, as in total, zero followers for them. And they have, I believe, two videos in or three videos in. And it was very formal. It's the typical you know promotional video that you see and it's not really connecting that much to the audience so we totally drew a direction a creative direction of storytelling for them on how we'll be able to grow their tiktok after working with us for one month we were able to reach over 1 million people to be precise i'm gonna read you the data it's a total of 1 million seven hundred twenty nine three hundred eighty people so that's like a wow it even came to a point that one of the stories that we featured got invited to Tito Vic and Joey's show, uh, I believe it's TVJ, and that was because of that one video that we made viral for them. It just really warms our hearts that we were able to do that and tell their stories online in a way that people would resonate to it and begin to understand the brand's mission and vision. On top of the organic marketing that we were doing for them, we also later on delved into paid ads because we want to reach more people. And because of the combination of the organic and paid marketing, we were able to reach 
millions of people and were able to generate lots of downloads from that. But actually, most of our reach were coming from organic efforts. This is why I usually tell brands to not skip your organic marketing. A combination of both becomes really powerful once you are able to figure out what type of organic marketing strategy works for your brand. And I think so many brands get to miss this out because the thing about paid marketing is that it's no longer how it used to be before that you just set it up and leave it be. You need to figure out what type of creatives work for your audience and the best way to test it is to test it in organic marketing. If it doesn't work in organic, then most likely it might not work in paid ads. That's why whenever we have prospects or clients saying that, oh, we need to set up this kind of ads or things like that without any putting much effort into organic marketing, then you're gonna spending lots of money trying to test creatives. Now, after our three month contract passed, as I've said, for some time, Milo didn't renew with us. And we were frankly kind of heartbroken about it, but you know, it's a business thing. I understand, you know, sometimes people need to cut off some expenses and that's totally valid. Now, after some few time that they stopped working with us, they renewed with us again. And this time, as I've said, usually when we work with clients, we do an audit of their social media accounts. And before from reaching millions of people, they definitely dipped down. They weren't having any posts on TikTok. I think they only did like two posts after us and Again, it went back to highly promotional videos. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making promotional videos because, you know, that's how you get to educate your audience about your app. But at the same time, you have to be a little bit creative on how to promote your product or service, right? So I'm going to show with you again the audit that we did for them. Now, before working with us, we saw that they were running a lot of ads. And this was actually the reach. I'm going to show you the insights. And as you can see, it's to 15.6k. And these are mostly coming from ads. As you can see here on the screen, it says total from organic. You can see here. You can see how many reach are coming from your organic efforts and from the ads. It says 214, 736 people came from the ads, which means they weren't really generating a lot of interest organically. And in today's age, wherein there's a lot of noise, having authentic interest or organic interest with your audience really matters a lot if you want to build a loyal community or community who would advocate for you. Now, just after three weeks of working with us again, this was their insights. We were able to reach close to 1.5M people and this is just on Facebook. Now, how do I know that these are actually based on our organic efforts? I'm gonna show the insights again as what I've done before. As you can see here, this is our reach 1.5M. We have a lot of content interactions. Now let's go back to the other a while ago. The content interactions, although it's like over 215K reach, their interactions was just, you know, close to 300. But right now, we have over close to 70k content interactions. And engagement really plays an important part. You want to start having conversations around your brand. Let's take a look at the breakdown of this reach. 1.1M people was reached by our contents organically. And that's huge. As you can see with the ratio, 300k people were reached via ads. Now, again, that's just on Facebook. Let's go to TikTok. Now on TikTok, before this was their reach. It was just around 6K and I even believe that it came from ads because you can actually see from notifications if they ran ads or when you go to their dashboard. But after again, three weeks of working with them, this was their insights. They were able to reach 2.1 and people got series of profile views, comments, unique viewers, which is very important to reach new audience if you want to generate more interest around your brand. So to sum it up, when they renewed with us again, we were able to break our old records. We were able to generate a reach of 3.5. And that's just after three weeks of renewing with us. We also gained a lot of followers. Before renewing with us again, they were at 4K followers, which were largely still from the past followers for the first three month contract that we done for them. And on TikTok, they were stuck at 14.5K, which was again via the efforts that we've done in the past for them because they only had two posts and they were, you know, just ads. So what does this mean? Up until now, we're still practicing the marketing strategy and it just proves to show how effective it is. We're still practicing the habit of storytelling to the audience. We actually proposed to them the awesome stories in Milo moment in the past contract that we've done for them, which we implemented on the first three months that we've rolled for them. Now with the data and the look at the 
insights, we're very confident that this means that the storytelling strategy really worked for them. Recently, we even posted awesome stories from Candy Pangilinan and many parents and to somehow softly inject the promotion of the app. So what is our bottom line from this? This means to show that any business can be marketed online. May it be very saturated, may it be very niche. You just need to come up with the right marketing strategy and trust the team. And that starts with one, doing market research for your brand, observing how people are consuming contents online and asking yourself, how do you make this brand digestible to people in a way that they would want to engage and be willing to become advocates for it? Again, you need to do your research, you need to plan, and you need to trust the team with it. In support of World Autism Awareness Month this April, Milo Speech Buddy is doing a one month free trial for their app this April. You can even check them out on TikTok and their other socials, by the way. And it's been an honor to share these stories with you. And as always, if you're a business owner looking to boost your business, you can DM our marketing agency all over socials on Facebook or on Instagram. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it in my next videos. Ciao!